seventh class mass lines and angles when two lines intersect each other or when two rays or line segments meet at a point angle is formed there are different types of angles acute angle which is less than 90 degrees obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degrees right angle which is equal to 90 degrees straight angle which is equal to 180 degrees today we know about uh, adjacent angles and uh, linear pair suppose two rays meet at a point o this is one ray and this is one o a and o b this is an angle another angle another ray is passing through the same point o and forms another angle said say it is y let uh, a point to be taken c c is a point on the on this side these two angles are adjacent to each other or uh, angle x and angle y are called adjacent angles because for two adjacent angles there may be a common ray common line between the two angles therefore c here x and y or adjacent angles and this ray is common to both the angles. This is a right angle 90 degrees OX and OY. Let uh, there is another ray OA, OA. Then these two angles are these two angles are adjacent angles and the sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees. Suppose if this is 30, this will be 60 degrees because it is a right angle. The total angle is 90 degrees. So uh, these pair of angles who has one common ray are called adjacent angles and the sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees. They are complementary to each other. Linear pair are the two angles who forms a straight line, let O and this is OA and this ray is OB and this is OC. This total angle is 180 degrees, straight angle, angle AOB, angle AOB, this angle, this total angle is 180 degrees, straight angle. And uh, these two angles are linear pair. These two angles are called linear pair. A linear pair are two angles which form a straight angle. Two adjacent angles whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. A linear pair whose sum is equal to 180 degrees are called uh, linear pair. Two angles whose sum is equal to 180 degrees are called this is equal to 45 degrees then this angle is equal to 180 minus 45 degrees because the total angle is 180 degrees this is equal to 135 degrees these two are adjacent angles and supplement to each other but uh, adjacent angles so two adjacent angles which are supplement to each other are called linear pair two adjacent angles two adjacent angles supplementary to each other are called linear pair linear, so this uh, 135 and 45 here are linear pair because they are adjacent angles therefore this is called linear pair so linear pair here, yeah, 135 degrees and 45 degrees are uh, supplement to each other. They are supplementary angles, but they are adjacent to each other. They are called linear pair. So, adjacent angles means side by side angles. So, if they are uh, uh, supplement to each other, then those two angles are called linear pair. Next, coming to the exercise, 
the second problem find the supplement of each of the following angles here this is one angle 105 supplement of this angle is 180 minus 105 that is equal to 75 degrees so supplement of 105 is equal to 75 degrees next supplement of 80 de 87 degrees is 180 minus 87 is equal to 93 Supplement of 154, 1 is equal to 180 minus 154, that is equal to 26. So next to the third problem, identify complementary and supplementary angles in the following. So identify the complementary and supplementary angles in the following. First one, 65 degrees, 115 degrees. So sum is 180 degrees. So these two are supplementary angles. Here 63 and 27 degrees. Sum is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees sum. Therefore, that is complementary angles. 112 and 68. Sum is 180 degrees. Therefore, this is a supplementary angles. 130 and 50. Sum is 180 degrees. Therefore, supplementary angles. 45 plus 45, 90 degrees, therefore complementary angles. 80 plus 10 is equal to 90 degrees, so complementary angles. Next, find the angle which is equal to its complement. The angle which is equal to its complement, that is uh, uh, 45 plus 45 is equal to 90. Therefore, 45 degrees is, a, is equal to its complement. So, 45 degrees is equal to its complement. Find the angle which is equal to its uh, supplement. The sum of two supplements is 180. Therefore, 90 plus 90 is equal to 10. So, the angle which is equal to its uh, supplement is 90 degrees. So, next uh, sixth problem. In the figure, that is the figure given, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles. If angle 1 is decreased, what changes should take place in angle 2 so that both the angles still remain supplementary? Here angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. They are linear pair. Sum of the two angles is 180 degrees. Total. This total angle is 180 degrees. If angle 1 is decreased, angle 1 is decreased means if this ray moved this side, like this side, like, suppose uh, the portion of this ray may move, decreases, this angle decreases, but the angle 2 increases. As the angle 1 decreases, the angle 2 must increase so that the angles, both the angles still remain supplementary. So, but, uh, angle 1 and angle 2 linear pair adjacent angles. So, angle 1 and a the decrease chase to unte and the rain ila darthu unte angle 2 increase out to unte nana mata. Angle 1 decrease out to unte angle 2 increase out to unte. The upper than is sum 180 degrees and the other end of the supplementary angles laga unte. Next, can two angles be supplementary if both of them are acute? An acute angle is an angle which is less than 90 degrees. If two angles are acute, less than 90 degrees, then sum also less than 180 degrees. So they may not be supplementary angles. If two angles be supplementary, both of them are obtuse. Obtuse angles means an angle greater than 90 degrees. If both the angles are greater than 90 degrees, the sum is greater than 180 degrees. So they may not be supplementary angles. If two angles are right angles, then the sum is equal and they are uh, supplementary angles. If an angle is uh, greater than 45 degrees, is its complementary angle is greater than 45 degrees or less than 45 degrees or equal to 45 degrees. An angle is greater than 45 degrees, its complementary complementary must be less than 45 degrees because 
the sum must be 90 degrees. As it is greater than 45 degrees, uh, the 90 minus greater than 45 degrees is less than 45 degrees. Its uh, complementary must be less than 45 degrees. Next problem, if two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measures is, if two angles are complementary, the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. If two angles are supplementary, then the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. If two angles are supplementary, their sum is 180 degrees. If two adjacent angles are supplementary, they form a linear pair. If two adjacent angles are supplementary, two adjacent angles, pakkapakkana angles, itla unna yanko yivrindu adjacent angles. If two adjacent angles are supplementary, the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees, then if they form a linear pair, then they will be straight like this, straight. Then only the sum is 180 degrees. So, if two adjacent angles are supplementary, then they form a linear pair. Linear pair are the two adjacent angles whose sum is 180 degrees. In this figure, name the following pairs of angles. Number one, obtuse vertically opposite angle. Obtuse, obtuse, vertically opposite angles, angles. So, in this figure, name the vertically opposite angles which are obtuse. So, vertically opposite angles means if there are two lines intersect at a point, these are called, the opposite angles are called vertically opposite angles. In this page, in this figure, this is obtuse and the opposite angles also. You see, these two are the pair of obtuse vertically opposite. Like these two are uh, acute angles, these two are uh, acute vertically opposite angles. But in her figure, name the obtuse vertically opposite angles. Obtuse vertically opposite angles. So here, if we consider this ray AC and BD, AC and BD, this angle is obtuse and this is also obtuse. Therefore, they two are obtuse vertical angles. So this this angle is written as angle AOB. So angle AOB and this one vertical opposite angles. These two points. So, angle BOC. Angle BOC. Angle BOC. So, angle AOD and angle BOC are obtuse vertical opposite angles. Next, adjacent complementary angles. Adjacent side by side complementary angles. See these two. This angle and this angle are adjacent angles and their sum is 90 degrees. These two are perpendicular. Okay, so uh, these two are adjacent complementary angles. That is a uh, adjacent complementary and angles angles are angle E O L or A O E A O E and A O E and angle A O B and angle A O B. These two are adjacent complementary angles. They are side by side angles and the sum is 90 degrees. Supplementary angles. Equal and supplementary. See this is 90 degrees. Therefore this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. And the total is 180 degrees. Therefore they are equal and the sum is 180 degrees. Therefore they are equal and supplementary angles. We write it as angle D O E angle B O E and angle B O E angle B O E. These two are equal and supplementary. Equal and supplementary angles. Next, unequal supplementary angles. Unequal supplementary angles. This angle and this angle. These two are unequal and supplementary. Sum is 
180 degrees and uh, they are not equal. Therefore, the uh, angle AOD, angle AOD, comma, angle AOB, angle AOB. These two are supplementary angles, but they are not equal. Therefore, they are unequal supplementary angles. Next, adjacent angles that do not form a linear pair. Adjacent angles that do not form a linear pair. The adjacent angles which form a linear pair are uh, the supplementary angles, whose sum is 180 degrees, but do not form a linear angle. Adjacent uh, angles. Adjacent angles that do not form a linear angles. We can take any angle, this angle and this angle. These two not, uh, does not form a linear pair, but they are adjacent. So angle uh, COD, angle COD and uh, angle BOE, angle BOE are adjacent but not linear pair. So these are the angles from this figure.